Welcome to Chat and Helping Hands. In this edition, we'll be focusing on how to use the triple beam balance. The triple beam balance is used to measure mass. Mass is the measure of the quantity of matter, basically meaning how much of a substance there is. The first step in using the triple beam balance is to make sure all the weights are on the correct side. So in this case, our weights were moved over, so we have to move them to the zero. And then at that time, we're going to hope that the line lines up at zero. For some reason, if it does not and all your weights are moved over, you can reach over to this knob back here uh, called the zero adjust knob and either move it clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust your line so it lines up. Once everything's lined up, you're ready to start measuring. You put your weights on the scale. Now there are three beams on a triple beam balance, hence it's called a triple beam balance. The first beam measures by one, so we have one, two, three, four, five. The middle beam measures by one hundredths, and the last beam measures by ten. Always start with your ones. Okay, now in this case I moved it all the way over to ten grams, and my object is still too heavy. So I'm going to move it back to zero and I'm going to use the back beam measuring by tens. Okay, I go 10 grams. Oops, I did not do it correctly. Life lesson right there. If you don't put the weight into the little grooves, it's not going to measure correctly. So I'm at 10, it's still too heavy. Now I'm going to move it over to 20, and it's too heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back to 10, and then I can move over the 1 until I get the exact weight. Too heavy, move it back a little. And perfect. So I have 10 plus 1 gives me 11 grams. Let's try again. Move my weights back to zero. Make sure it lines up. Put my weights on my scale. I'm going to make it really heavy this time. Okay, once you become used to using the triple beam balance, you can look and use logic that this is too heavy for 10 grams. So you don't even need to move the ones. It's probably heavier than the tens, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say maybe it's about 90, nope, 100, nope. Okay, so this time we get to use the middle beam. So I'm going to try 100, make sure it's in the grooves, still too light, 200, too heavy. So I'm going to go back to 100. Now I'm going to move the tens. I'm at 20 and it's too light, 30 too light, 50 too heavy, move back to 40, too heavy, 30, good. So now I'm going to move the ones. Almost there but not quite, a little too light. Pretty good. Alright, so I have 100 plus 30 plus 5, so that's 135, but it's not exactly on the 5. So just like the ruler, the smaller dashes mean milli. In this case, it's milligram. So I have 135.1 or 2, I can't really tell. It looks like 2. 135.2 grams is the weight of our object. And that is how we use the triple beam balance.